Well, here we go again. This is another DJI Mini 3 Pro flight. This is just a fun flight in the air. If we can get out of these clouds, we'll find our landing mat as usual and our takeoff mat. And I'll bet we do. Here we go, right there. Okay. As you can see, not much wind today. And we're up and off. It's about, oh, I don't know, 11 o'clock in the morning, and the uh, temperature is already around 80 degrees. So we're just up for a lazy, hazy flight. We go out this way a little ways and get a little altitude and see how the Mini 3 does. We're flying north now, and like I said, the wind is very, very light, so. No worry at all. I think we might fly over this, this high line a little bit, this clear cut to the right. There we go. We'll just kind of drift that way a little bit. We're still grabbing a little altitude. There we are. We got it in our sights now. As you can see, there's a uh, kind of a haze in the air. We've been getting a lot of uh, smoke from the Canadian wildfires going on up there has been drifting down our way so the air uh, quality today is really bad <laughs> but we're out and about anyway almost looks like you can see the haze in the air so now we veered off to the north northeast and uh, we're gonna run down this high line see if we see any turkeys or anything else running around out there and I don't see any it must be too hot for them a lot of times they'll come out, the deer and the turkeys will come out of those big patches of cedars you see on the right and the left. They like bedding in those areas there. They come out and they use that power line as a highway. Get forth, back forth from one place to another and they got water there. There's all kinds of ponds and little lakes and stuff. They feel pretty safe in there. Plus during the winter time, those uh, cedar trees and pine trees you see, they hold the heat in and keep so uh, whatever heat hits the ground during the day from the sun uh, has to radiate back up in the evening, but uh, those cedar trees tend to hold it in. Now ah, you can see some animal trails down there. Okay, coming up to our first road here. And I know exactly where I'm at. We're going to fly over this one, and when we get up to the next one, we'll start uh, drifting to the right a little bit. Just a beautiful day for flying. Just wanted to get out and uh, get old Thelma Lou up in the air and get a little wind up her skirt. She likes that. I've been flying her a lot lately, and her big sister, uh, the Mini 2, uh, Peggy Sue, she been... Stuck in the case for a while. I got to get her out uh, and get after it with her. We're going to come across this road here. Now, there's another high line up here, and this is all in the city, but uh, there's a tremendous amount of deer in this uh, little area of woods here. There's a tremendous amount of deer in there. I saw one of the biggest bucks I ever saw in my life crossing that high line. So we're going to drift over this woods a little bit, and then we are going to, there we go, we're going to go and drift to the right a little bit. There we are, there's old ball diamond up there behind that church. I'd like to fly from there, but uh, they don't want anybody around there, so we will do what we're supposed to do here. See a lot of secondary growth here. Uh, you can tell it's a lot younger growth. This was all cleaned out at one time and it was all field at one time and now it's grown back. We're going to come up here and we're going to all of a sudden start turning right here. Now across this road here, on the other side of this church, this small area of uh, woods here, they've got it posted. Somebody's posted, you know, no trespassing, no hunting. No nothing. 
Uh, I know there's the people that are doing that are, are bow hunters <laughs> there and they're hunting. There's quite a few nice bucks in that little area right there and uh, they're after them every year. So we'll drift over here. I don't see any of their tree stands, but they are in there, that's for sure. We're kind of angling back now. Like I said, this was just a flight to get up in the air, uh, stretch the mini three's legs a little bit, see how she performs. We're uh, we are using an ND uh, filter today, an ND8 filter, which I usually don't use any ND filters, but uh, look at that bird right there. It's it's bright enough now that it doesn't hurt to use one. Uh, look at the look at look at the smoke. And the pollution in the air geez for those of us that have asthma and uh, other chronic breathing problems it's not good to be out but I'm out there doing this so okay we've made almost a u-turn here we're going to come back over some woods here and another uh, it's a gas line I believe that runs along that side uh, natural gas pipeline and I do not see any animals, horses, cows, deer, turkeys, nothing in these fields right now. So now we're headed south-southeast. A little bit of a breeze, but good flying weather. I mean, couldn't ask for much other, other than the heat being so hot. Uh, I like flying in the fall the best, that's for sure. Winter time, my fingers get cold on the sticks. Sometimes the old fingers get numb. If I was a pincher, I'd be in real trouble with the controls. But uh, the summer is just almost as bad when you can't find any shade out there. And, you know, you got the reflection of the sun on your, your controller screen or your phone or tablet or whatever you're using. So we're headed back now, kind of going to take the long ways around here. We thought we'd get a pretty good flight in today. Didn't go far, but uh, get some good air time, that's for sure. Uh, let's see. Not a whole lot this way. There are a lot of manufacturing areas over there. We're not going to go uh, that far. We're going to start swinging back towards where we took off at and uh, we're going to head a little further south than what we're at. Okay, there's the power substation right there on the left. Now if we take a right here, we should cross the corner of the park boundary. There we go. Nice lake over there. I'd like to dip a rod into that lake, a uh, wet line you might say. Haven't done enough fishing this year. It's been a busy, busy spring and now it's busy early summer. And then I see water like that. This guy's got a rough life here. His own private little lake behind his million dollar home here. I know he's got some bass in there. Hmm. There's a nice little dock there to walk out on. What a line, do some fishing. Okay, we'll be over his property shortly, and now we're coming back towards park property here. That's the caretaker's house down there on the right for the for the park. And we're going to head south, south, west. And we're going to try to get up there where the horse stables are at. Get my bearings here. Yep. No animal still. They're smarter than I am. They're all in the shade of these trees. Just beautiful though. I mean, the views are just beautiful. You just gotta like green. 
<laughs> like I said, in the spring and summer, you can almost overdose on green. And you got the other guys that uh, fly in the concrete jungles, like Philly Drone Live and stuff like that. People like that that are just uh, basically city flyers. I'd much rather fly out in the country. Every once in a while in the city is fine, but not very often. And you've all seen this pond before. We're going to drift off here to the right, I think. Yeah, there we go. Try to head to the right of this guy's place, I believe. Hit my bearings. Yep. Know where I'm at now. So again, if you look at the top of the screen, you can see the haze. I wasn't coughing much, but it wasn't doing my lungs much good either. So but I did manage to find some shade underneath a, a tree and uh, got out of the sun a little bit, but you got to be careful because trees are and the leaves are full of water and that absorbs the RF signals like you wouldn't believe so I try to kind of stay away from the trees as much as I can here we go I would like to fly over a large enough lake or ocean just to say I flew as far as I could without any interference from the trees but uh no such thing where I live at, so you're just going to deal with it. Got my bearings there. I've seen some big deer in this area. This guy's got himself a bunch of roads in here carved out. Can pretty much bow hunt back in here. This is in the city, so you can't gun hunt or firearm hunt in here. Okay, there's that uh, horse stable and corral and stuff in the upper left. You guys have seen that before. Now we're going to kind of go straight here, and then we're going to kind of take a right to come back. But I'm going to fly over something kind of unique. Let's see. Don't see any horses today. Here we go. We're going to go over this path here. Here, see if we can get up towards this road here. Let me see. It's right up here. There's something interesting to see. Okay, there's the parking lot. Okay, yeah, it's up here on the right, top right hand corner of the screen. It'll, it's, it'll start coming into view here shortly. There it is. And for you that don't know that, that is a trap range. People shoot skeet and trap up here. Right in the city. So there it is. And nobody it is closed today, so won't be bothering anybody. We'll just take a short run over it back down along this road here and then I think we're going to catch the return route we're going to instead of going down and following the road back at the end of that field there we're going to hang a Roscoe and just drift here to the right all this high line a little ways and we'll pick the road back up again just a beautiful day like I said this is just a, a fun flight sometimes you just get out and get it up in the air and nobody's bothering you nobody's around uh you're just having fun you're you're seeing the beauty of the land and it just amazes me you know god's creation how how beautiful it is despite man's best chance or best try to screw it up anyway here we go okay we're coming back now. We're zeroing in on our takeoff location. That's got a little pond there. It doesn't look like it's very deep at all. It looks like more like a water hole, but 
I haven't seen any cattle. I think he has some cattle up here, though, somewhere. I think I have seen a few cattle in there. So we'll drift back up here, and we'll be crossing the road right up here just past this turn. We'll catch this other road, and we'll follow it up right back to where we left from. So pretty nice flight. Pretty uneventful flight, just kind of like I said, just a fun flight, just getting up in the air and just uh, looking at the scenery and how beautiful the countryside can be and uh, the peace and quiet that being in the air, you know, even though you're not in the air, you feel like you are. So it kind of gives you a little peace that uh, is enjoyable, that's for sure, especially in today's hustle and bustle. So we're climbing up the hill here. And I see our takeoff spot now. We'll make some adjustments here. We'll be losing a little bit of altitude. I don't think they have any crops planted in any of these fields up here on this park area. We used to have corn in that field right there on the right, but uh, they haven't put anything in there for years. And I don't know why, I'm not sure. Maybe the city or state just doesn't have the money to fool with it anymore. So we're overhead right now. We're gonna come back and get our backs to the wind in a second. We're losing altitude here. Try to get squared away here. There was a guy out on the walking trail uh, when we got there, and I want to make sure I'm not causing him any heartache here, and I don't see him looking all around. He's not on that trail either. That's the trail he was on, so he's not on that trail, so I think we're good. So let's lose quite a bit of altitude now as we bring her back home. Well, it was a great flight, as usual. Uh, nothing bad to report on this one. Uh, camera seems to have done real good. She uh, flew great. Uh, Thelma Lou just loves, loves to get her skirt up in the air, get some wind in there, and uh, I like flying her, that's for sure. Okay, well, we've got some ground to cover here just a little bit. Losing some more altitude, losing some more altitude, we'll get up here a little ways more and then uh, we'll go ahead and uh, flip around and back right into her parking spot. As you can see, there are two, four cars up there now, so there's quite a few people up here. But nobody around bothering me, so we'll bring her in. Drift a little bit to the left. Lose a little more altitude. Let's bring that camera up. Get that camera even. Drift down a little bit more. Feel like it's a moon landing. Feel like I'm Neil Armstrong. Ten ahead, two down. Drifting a little bit to the right. <laughs> you people over there in 69 like I was, you remember that for sure. Okay, bringing her down. You guys, stay safe out there. I hope you enjoyed this one. Just a lazy flight. Just let you see some scenery. Stay safe. Treat others the way you want to be treated. The golden rule. Still the best rule to follow. Hopefully we'll get some more content out there for you soon. It's almost motorcycle riding weather, so may have a few of those out there too. Everybody stay safe. We'll see you soon. Thanks for watching.